Hi, friends. Do you have skeins of yarn that look like this? Yeah. Nasty. Well, I got this great yarn winder from my daughter for Mother's Day, and I can turn this skein, this mess, into this beautiful cake. Let me show you how here. And of course, the first challenge of any ball of yarn is to find the end. So often you get this, what I call a skein that likes to vomit out its guts um, <laughs> and leave you with this clump of yarn that you're not ready to use all of yet. And it does these things like knots. But can you believe it? Uh, of, of the hundreds, possibly thousands, of skeins, different skeins of yarn that I've worked with over the many, many years. I've never had a yarn winder. So this is how it works. You, first of all, you're gonna take the tail and go through this, the threader. Can you see the threader? And the yarn just winds around in there. Then take the end and slide it through this little slots right there and you're ready to start you just start winding and you just have to go um a little bit slowly watch for here comes my big cake here or it's not the cake yet it will be a cake and once you get it caked it won't not again it's and um i've always just wound my yarn into balls but that i find um can put a lot of tension on the fibers in that yarn because it's just and i like my um, yarn balls to be really neat and tidy and so i tend to wind them probably over tightly so this little uh, machine it's not even really a machine it doesn't have any power except your own you power it um takes away that possibility so that you don't need to worry about winding it too tight and, and then you can see here i've got a really nice little cake starting to form and when you get to the end when you come up with the end and I just make a little loop, tuck that loop under a couple of strands of the outer, outer cake, grab the tail, and just tighten it down. And now I've got the end secured, and I've got a little tail here to pull when I want to take that knot out, but it keeps my cake um, nice and regular. And here's the my beginning tail, which is so difficult to find, but it's right here on top, ready to go. So um, I'll put a link to this wonderful yarn winder in the description. And if you would like to solve this yarn problem by getting one, please use the link. And it helps me out a little bit, and it doesn't cost you any more money. And you can have beautiful, neat yarn cakes just like me.